Hello. <clears throat> Welcome to another pen talk. I've been on a little bit of a roll lately. So um, the box may not be a box that you recognize, but as we get closer, you'll see it's a hero box. And it has their founding date of 1931. Hero is the uh, Shanghai Fountain Pen Company. Hero is their most popular brand. As you can tell, this one is uh, quite ornate packaging. On the side we see it's a, a 2016 which is a popular model and it's 14k. For those of you that might understand some Chinese. If we open up the package uh, we see a nice presentation of the pen and in the uh, <coughs> top we have a little instruction booklet. It's, it's as nicely done, uh, nice soft material. The instruction booklet actually comes in both uh, Chinese and English. Permanent guarantee, that's an interesting phrase. Shows you how the filling mechanism works, and this is not the filling mechanism that is in this pen. Well, it has shows both the cartridge converter and the uh, <coughs> pneumatic one, or the aromatic one, as Schaefer used to refer, or as Parker used to refer to it as. And it has, it's nice because it has the stamp from um, the seller, 2002-1225. Hmm, that's interesting. And there we see the uh, Hero Pen Company in uh, Shanghai. I wanted to bring out this pen um, in some nice sunlight so we can capture uh, the interesting colors in the acrylic in the pen. It's a very well-made pen. A lot of metal went into the construction. Uh, the band uh, obviously shows the Hero uh, 2016. Hopefully uh, the sunlight is capturing some of the chatillancy in this resin. A lot of different colors, uh, mostly in the reds and the blues. Maybe um, <clears throat> a little bit of purple in there, a little bit of black in there. Just a nice combination and that's one of the reasons why I was attracted to this pen. Purchased on eBay a number of years ago. I don't have any uh, details on the auction. Classic pull-off cap. Uh, you look at the pen section. It's a fairly narrow section. Uh, interesting nib, not a large nib, but obviously it's 14 karat. On the fine side, which a lot of the Asian pens are fine writing. Just unscrew the section and you see it's a huge uh, aromatic converter. Nice gold plating, uh, kind of um, showing the theme of the pen. Um, it's uh, brass inside. There's also a brass sleeve in the section here, so it's extremely well made. I thought we would uh, try an ink I haven't uh, done before, which is a um, Roher and Klinger Royal Blue. It's a very nice blue. I've had it in, in some other pens. So uh, we just uh, dip it in the ink, give a press, you'll see some bubbles come up. I'm not going to do a full fill. We'll need to grab the rag to clean off the nib and section. Uh, recap the ink. Reassemble the pen. All the parts are made well. Threads work well. Cap posts very securely and uh, very easily. As you can uh, tell it fits fairly nicely in the hand. We're going to be continuing on. You may see some of the writing from my WASP uh, review. So I've written with this pen just as a test mode, so this time we're going to do it more uh, real time. So this is the Hero 2016. So you know, might notice a little bit of a hard starting, which um, is something that I've had with some Chinese pens. I haven't done anything to tune this nib or tune the feed. Ah, pretty wet uh, writer. 
I think this uh, one of the things that comes across uh, using this pen now is um, I'm not a fan of how it writes, which is not unusual for me. Um, it just you know, the, 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 the nib has a little bit of give to it, but I really, the, the hard starting is really something that would get to me. Maybe over time, that'll come out. But uh, right now, it's just um, irritating. So thank you for viewing. This is just a short look at a Hero Pen. Uh, you can find these on Amazon. Uh, not this particular model, but uh, some other models. They're also for, uh, famous for their 616 or the Parker 51 knockoff. It's also called the Doctor Pen. Um, Wing Sung was also one of their brands. There's a whole bunch of brands that they've done. So hopefully you've enjoyed this quick view of a Chinese pen. Um, one I probably would not recommend you buy unless you just like it and want to tweak it. I'm certain with some tweaking the flow might get a little bit better. So um, may all your pen experiences be great. May you have many. Later. Bye.